Hi there, John Carswell from Catswell Parish Church. Just a few thoughts to get us through the day today. Uh, we're obviously in a crisis, um, something that we've never seen before. And there's loads of things that we can think about during this time that might be helpful for uh, staving off the madness that might come with it. Uh, the first is that find something to be thankful for every day. For me, what I'm thankful for most of all is uh, the fact that we're coming together as a community. Uh, this crisis has made us a national and international community like nothing else has ever done. Now, you remember your grandparents talking about during the war years how everyone came together and uh, they, they discovered in one another some amazing resources uh, of community and, and help for one another. And I've already seen um, e even this local community coming together to say, right, how can we help people out? And uh, that's, I think, a real positive that we need to take forward and something that I want to be thankful for today. Uh, the second thing is, is do not be afraid. Um, you, you, you know that fear is our worst enemy. Fear paralyzes us and prevents us from taking care of ourselves and most especially from taking care of those people that we love. What did, what did the psalm say? It says, um, even though I walk through the darkest valley, through the valley of, shadow, of, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. Because God is with us in the midst of this valley. So if fear creeps up, and I know it sometimes does, it does with me as well, just, just pause. Breathe and say the words, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Thirdly, remember your neighbor. Uh, Jesus taught us, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Now you remember the story from Luke chapter 10 where uh, a lawyer comes to Jesus and says, uh, who, Jesus, who, who, who is my neighbor? And Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan, which you can read today in Luke chapter 10. And at the end of it, Jesus says, now, well, who is, who, is, who is your neighbor? And of course, the answer to that question is anyone who is in need. Now, when we first started out with this a couple of weeks ago, the, the, the first priority was to protect those who were 70 and older, the elderly. Um, those also who had pre-existing health conditions were in a vulnerable position. But as the days go by, I'm finding that more and more people can be added to that list. Uh, people who attend uh, support groups of various kinds who can't participate anymore. Uh, children who are missing out on their, their meal at school every day. Uh, and then, of course, there's thousands and thousands of people on the front line of the caring professions who are going to be taxed in ways uh, that we just can't begin to imagine. So remember your neighbor and follow the advice of the government. This is the first time in history where we could actually kill someone just by ignoring that advice. When we have social contact, uh, we, we, we can pass on this disease completely unaware and uh, we can kill someone just from being around them. So do as much as possible, do the social, social isolation thing. Um, on a positive note, um, I want you to do something for me today and that is to call someone. Call someone and say, Hey, how you doing? It's great to talk to you. I've been thinking about you. I've been praying for you and just wanted to say hello. We've all got a contact list in our mobile phone. Just, just look it up and, and, and pick, pick someone in your list. Uh, if you don't have a number, look up BT Phone Book on the web and you can find most uh, landlines for people uh, that you might know. Use social media. Um, there's just something about that voice that that. that we can't do the, the touch connection anymore, but we can do the voice connection. So take a moment today and think about uh, calling someone. Just call them up and let them know that you're thinking about them. It can be a lifeline of encouragement, especially for people who are socially isolated. So those three things, remember to give thanks, find something to be thankful for today. You might think thankful for being uh, united in this thing together. And secondly, do not be afraid. And thirdly, uh, remember your neighbor and give someone a call. And may God bless you in the doing of it. Um, and shall we pray together? Father, I give you thanks uh, for the many blessings that are coming out of this crisis. The most especially uh, is the blessing of unity and discovering uh, a new value in one another. 
Father, help us to be a blessing to one another and a blessing to our neighbor, even as we go forth. Remind us, Lord, that we have nothing to be afraid of uh, because you are sovereign and you are with us, with us even in the valley of the shadow of death. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. See you next time.